Hello folks, I am Brandon from Fable Blades and uh, I just thought I'd uh, sit down and have a chat with you and uh, let you know what's going on here. Um, basically, I feel like it's time to open up, um, open up what I do to people and share it and uh, you know, life is short, you know, anything can happen, you know, I've had a great time over the last 15 years making swords and um, you know I can't do it forever um, anything can happen there could be a, a change in my life situation or um, you know any, anything can happen at any moment in your life and and it all ends doesn't it so I figure what's the point in uh, in, in not sharing it you know I want people to be able to follow similar paths that I've been able to follow. I've been so blessed to be able to serve people and, um, you know, make beautiful family heirlooms for people, things that have helped people through grief, um, through loss to commemorate their loved ones. Um, I I'm super fortunate to have been able to do this, to just make crafts at my home, which I've been able to share with people and share the journey. I've always shared the journey. I started at the sword buyers guide forums and um i started by by showing what i was doing and um you know just doing these little diary posts to show people you know the stages that i was doing things and and i was learning and um i'm still learning and everything i do i'm just figuring out how am i going to make this thing that i've come up with the concept you know the whole time there's there's no school for sword makers <laughs> you can't learn this i don't have a degree in sword making or anything like that it's just a backyard hobby and um and you just figure it out maybe some people are, are trained you know welders or, or or fitters and turners you know i'm not i did you know junior high school metal work um, and woodwork and then I, I quit did my tertiary entrance um, and, and went to university studied business and uh, you know I sold things before I got into sword making it's just a hobby little pause there just had a tractor go past <laughs> um, yeah I'm out in the country and uh, and I'm, it's a beautiful thing to to, you know to be out in the sticks and to be able to make all the noise that I make and uh, you know make the, the things that I make for folks uh, but yeah what I was saying is is you know there's no school for sword making and uh, it's just a hobby that I've, I'm figuring out as I go and I've been doing it for 15 years and there's other people want to do it and you know unless yeah sure some people done an apprenticeship with you know fitting and turning or or cabinet making or boiler making or wood crafts or something like that and that's going to maybe give you a leg up in sword making but you know it's you got to figure this stuff out so I can help people because you know I've been figuring it out for 15 years and I know some stuff I've figured some stuff out but I'm not some master you know technical I don't know you know metallurgist or engineer you know there's all these you know things you go oh, you gotta you know know all this stuff no you don't you just you you study it and you you learn what you need to learn to do what you're trying to do and like i say everything i try and do is different everything i build is is a different creation so every time i'm laying in bed for hours just going how am i going to nut this out how what am i going to make how am i going to make that how can i achieve that oh, i'll try that and you know you go through it over and over in your head and, and most of the things i present are my first attempt at doing something just about everything on my website was my first attempt at doing that i don't practice it you know, i just roll up my sleeves and dive in and have a crack and and when you when you're cutting something up that's already taken you eight hours to make you don't want to start again you just cut it up and and then you that's what you get that's what you've made and 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 fortunately you guys love what i make so um that's great i'm happy to share it and yeah so the next stage for me is to share you know my home and and my work and 
and my tips of you know just my processes and the way for me to do that is not through Facebook and Instagram which is great for showing beautiful pictures that you can just scroll yep beautiful picture like that move on no so I've opened a patreon page and I'm gonna start putting my in-depth stuff on patreon and um, for those who are interested I'm not expecting all 12,000 of my Facebook followers to come along and subscribe you know a handful of you or so are gonna join me and be interested and hopefully get you know engaged and and communicate and we'll do it together um you know show what you're making i don't know i don't know i've never used patreon hopefully there's some sort of way that people can share their stuff i don't know i'll figure it out like i always do i don't know what i'm doing i never do i'm just like oh i'm gonna try and make some scabbards okay here's the scabbard you know put it together and yeah years passed and you guys are you know coming up behind me and i'm gonna you know drop off the perch at some point you know i'm not going to be doing this forever so now's the time to to tell you what i've figured out because you know i'm, I'm getting older and i don't want to be making swords for the rest of my life necessarily i certainly don't work 50 hour weeks in the workshop like you know i'm, I'm an artist I, I do it when i feel like doing it it's a creative process i've got to have the vibe i've got to know all right i've got the energy i've got the creative energy i've got the the spirit and heart to go and pour it into hard physical labor for three or four or five hours you know and and most days I only do three or four hours in the workshop and some weeks i might do six days a week like that in summer sometimes i might get two sessions a day in at like 6 a.m and then 8 p.m but um you know, sometimes I might go a month without doing any sword work because I, I have a, a property here. I'll just give you a quick squeeze where I am. Um, this is where I live. It's um, it's farmland. You can see there's a couple of hundred acres of vacant property across the road they raise dairy cows and beef cows I've got horses at my farm and uh, it takes a lot of work I've got 23 acres here and we've got about a dozen horses and there's always you know the house you can see the old house is 80 years old and there's always work to do <laughs> there's always a, a heap of work to do to, to keep this lifestyle going but that's all part of it you know the only income I get is from swords and I can't be doing it all the time and I certainly can't be doing it 40 hours a week but I can share what I do with you guys and hopefully some of you guys want to join in and I'll support you you can help support me um, maybe I can do it for a little bit longer that way so it's time to open my doors and uh, and share the journey and hopefully a bunch of you can show up for that and uh and yeah hopefully it's a, an exciting new thing uh yeah i don't know what to say but you know like us i'll keep keep sharing what i'm doing giving tips and uh showing the processes my sketches and 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 showing you how i do what i do and hopefully that's valuable to a bunch of you and, and, and even for those who aren't craftspeople or just have a different craft, maybe you can glean something from it. And uh, for those of you that just like my work, well, come and get a closer look. You know, there's more than just the glamour shots. You know, every six weeks I show some glamour shots of what I've been working on for the last six weeks. But so what? Like, what about all the other six weeks of stuff? It's not the destination, it's the journey. So if you like swords and you like what I do, come and share the journey with me. You know, you don't have to be a craftsman but for those who are craftspeople or just hobbyists please come along i help you as where i can and yeah hopefully folks can get excited and get engaged and uh there's something for you there so i look forward and hope to be able to see some of you at my patreon site and uh and yeah exciting that's exciting and um 
yeah, hopefully, you know, we can all, all share something new and interesting and, 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 and demystify, you know, all, all the mythology and all the, the fables and all the fairy tale stuff and, and just, you know, it's, it's about life. It's about living a different life. Um, not the, the rat race run of the mill thing. It's, we're not medieval times. We are here on earth and this is the life we've been given. And a lot of us don't want to be a, a gear in the machine of industry and finance and economy. You know, we just love our families and we love our homes and we're just all trying to get by and, you know, it's 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 about loving what you do uh with your work to be able to go it's time for me to go and spend however many hours removing metal from a chunk and and creating a pretty thing and and to accept that and to be there and enjoy the process of um of 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 creating and how how you can create from an intuitive place um, how you can take something from your mind's eye and put it into form and and to share it with the world i mean that's that's what i'm doing and to do that you need to be present when you're doing it to a certain extent you have to accept that i'm here for hundreds of hours pouring energy into this thing and not always be waiting for the next thing or be waiting for it to be accomplished or achieved it's about the journey and just being there and that's you know the life that you're choosing that's the life i've chosen and uh if i can help guide some folks who are who are coming up behind me in this planet to uh to undertake that sort of life then you know that's what i'm here for that's what i do and i do want to share and i want you guys to to love your lives and and, and to be able to create and bring what's in your heart and put it in the world. And, you know, this is the next stage of me doing that. Um, so I hope to, hope to see you there. Um, Patreon slash Fableblades. Patreon.com slash Fableblades. Uh, I hope to see you, um, to see you and to engage with you on that journey. Thank you.